experts. You see them every day, master of their crafts, knowledgeable in what they do, and able to perform on a high level. So the question arises, how can we start from beginner to expert? In this video, I'll be showing you the secret to being an expert in any way that you can. But before that, I need you to do something. I need you to hit the subscribe button, I need you to like this video, and to comment down below what you think it takes to be an expert. Done? Okay, let's get straight to the video. Now I'm no expert myself, but from what I can see from the experts out there, what it takes to be an expert isn't no shortcut. It requires a lot of consistency, patience, and a lot of consistency. So when you think about it, people get good at things because they do it on a regular basis. Just like the basketball player, he didn't get an expert overnight or in like a few weeks. He played basketball every day, almost every day, and got used to it. Once he got used to it, he knew what he had to improve upon, what he had to get better at. So it all boils down to consistency. Thomas Frank actually uploaded a video on this called The 5 Hour Rule, and I really recommend watching it. But in short, which I am going to spoil, is to work on something important to you one hour a day, five days a week. In total, you have five hours worth of practicing, of learning something new in a week. And that's already a lot. That's already progress. So if you think about it, I know you might be asking, Arlo, I don't have five hours a week. I need time to do my other things. Then I just understand. So instead of five hours a day, then perhaps five minutes a day for five days a week. I'm 100% sure you can insert 5%, 5%, 5 minutes in a day. It's totally doable. And I myself find it easier to do something new when I, when I all I have to do is insert 5 minutes in it. An example is I listen to the Daily Startup Podcast on Spotify. And I'm able to insert it every day because it's just 5 minutes. And now that you think about it, Doing 5 minutes a day for 5 days a week will teach me way more than if I had just not done it. So you see, making it starting with starting it small reduces the resistance to start. So I have some homework for you. I want you to find a podcast, be it on YouTube or Spotify. Find the ones with the smallest number of episodes possible. And find one that they uploads regularly. Now, it can be about anything. Bonus points if it's an interest that you're interested in. It, or a field that you want to learn more about. With cryptocurrency, NFTs, the metaverse, whatever. And once you've found that, listen to it every day. Every time you, every time you listen to it, uh, use your habit tracker and... And say that you've listened to it to that day. And I can assure you, in a short amount of time, you would have learned way more than have you not had it in your habit. And remember this. The top student doesn't cram. The top student studies regularly. Reviews regularly. And studies almost every day. But not very long. Well, maybe they do, but then they don't do it as long as they don't do it as long as people who cram the night before, right? So focus on baby steps. Start learning a little bit amount of time every day, and you'll be able to see your results. Watch this video if you want to learn how to memorize things through spaced repetition and active recall. And I'll see you in that video.